So as soon as we saw that there was a snowstorm or whatever, I know I wanted to be out here because I love the snow. I grew up in this house, so I'm not used to the snow. So this is like amazing for me. I love this. storm for the most part is delivering pretty much what we all expect and the experts predicted. It's bringing strong winds and lots of snow across the Commonwealth with coastal, eastern, and southeastern communities getting hit particularly hard. In many parts of the, of the state, the snow has been falling at a rate of two to four inches per hour for a while, and we expect that will continue uh, for the next hour or two and eventually will taper off. Light to moderate snow will continue to fall into the evening and ending in the east sometime around 11 p.m. And those high winds are expected uh, to continue pretty much all night, which um, will have some impact on how fast people can get around to getting out into the bucket trucks to deal with some of the power outages. Some communities in the southeast could get as much as 30 inches of snow. Boston and other coastal communities could get about two feet. While the storm may be moving out tonight, that blowing snow and, and snow-packed roads will make travel extremely hazardous all night tonight. The heavy snowfall rates and the strong wind gusts are going to cause continued whiteout conditions and constantly changing topography in many places. And that will be the case pretty much throughout the evening and into the morning. <laughs> the number of cases that people will have a heart attack when you think shoveling snow is not exercise, but it is. And so I tell people to stretch and take their time. In New York, out bright and early up here in Harlem, 132nd Street. Uh, it's clear Department of Sanitation has been out moving about doing their job. I want to really thank them. Uh, high winds, visibility is sort of difficult, so it's best to take the public transportation uh, today, but New Yorkers are doing their job also, you know, moving snow from in front of their homes. Uh, just want to really thank DSNY for keeping the city moving. Uh, be careful as you move about. <laughs> 